where you are going to apply a real time load and check for at least 20 30 milliseconds whether direction is right whether contacts are working whether joints are working whether other connections are working that will give you a clear idea about uh, this particular part okay so meshing and mesh check that is what you will do uh, uh, of course quality check so shape based quality and size based quality i am i am explaining uh, don't interrupt right now so this will be better okay so let me start you can understand and imagine what you have done uh, so that it will be easy for you to apply this same steps for any dam model you have okay so meshing and mesh check that comes with quality check so quality check will be of two types one is a shape based criteria other is a size based criteria so shape based criteria is uh, angles inscribed angles tria or quad uh, then you have uh, aspect ratio then you have skew uh, then you have warpage that is all not related to size all related to shape of a element then you have size based criteria which is average size minimum size and maximum size if you are checking characteristic length you can check that fine next you have to assign thicknesses to the uh, 2d parts or you have to assign cross sectional type diameters cross sectional area definitions ixx iyy uh, irr whatever it is in thickness assignment and for 3d element you have to define the element formulation okay then we will go ahead with penetration check for zero penetration so make sure you attain zero penetration if your cad is really bad if your cad is having penetration because we are cae engineers we are supposed to get an unfinished cad if you wait for a finished cad there is no need of uh, doing a virtual prototyping okay so typically you are always going to get a cad with penetrations remember this okay 90% of the time if you are a part of a design team the design guys want to check whether their unfinished design is going to perform well or not are you getting my point guys clear type in clear if this is clear you are always going to get an unfinished cad remember if you are having a cad department and a ca department side by side they will not wait for finished cad because they really want to check what is the performance uh, on the basic components and that's where penetrations are going to play an important role so you guys have to either modify uh, your parameters in cae so that the penetration effects are minimal or you can slightly modify the geometry that means mesh i'm talking about mesh slightly modify the mesh so that it is not changing cross section significantly clear this is very important nobody is going to tell you why we need to do a penetration check let's wait for the final cad and if on final cad you get too many failures you are actually wasting a lot of time in designing right so it is better that you do ca iterations on unfinished cad okay that is very important next is material assignment now here you have to pay very good attention for all type of uh, uh, bill of material related informations okay so the informations will be like there will be two or three grades of same material maybe or there will be one single material used everywhere or there will be n number of different materials used for n number of different parts but typically uh, the designers will try to uh, make sure that you are having minimum number of materials used for maximum number of parts so even if one of the part is not failing or is not is not supposed to be in a load path just to save procurement uh, cost uh, you may use a high grade material for a non load path member okay that's a call of designer and manufacturing guys because there you really don't have a say so you may say that okay because i am using something which is having a higher strength uh, i may not get a different result i may get the same result but it is going to add a little bit of a cost uh, on the material procurement side but it will get balanced on the uh, uh, manufacturing and assembly side because you don't have to remember too many things 
Fine. The next part is mass check for whole model. Once you assign material, you are actually multiplying volume by density, and then you are getting a mass check. Okay. So make sure you are. Uh, uh, this will make sure. This step will make sure that your uh, densities are correct, your dimensions are correct, your thicknesses are correct, because this mass check you have to cross check with. I will amend this and cross check. with physical model or i will call it as a design department this mass you have to cross check with design department so that you will be clear that okay my thicknesses are okay and my densities are okay that will give you a very good idea about it fine uh no questions right now vinayak okay connectivity it is going to be belt, uh, bolting welding tied contacts adhesives and joints okay so you can define all types of those parts you can connect using these many methods there may be many more but typically we are going to use for automotive structures these methods uh then the important part which is free free run or maybe a constraint run to check whether all your parts are connected to check whether your all tied contacts are working and to make sure that everything is in place and no part is flying away okay that's for that's a model analysis so we are not doing model analysis for frequency response right now okay that may be a requirement from customer that is your designer to get a natural frequency on a certain constraint application okay then you have local as well as global contacts as i uh, described earlier global contact will be a full assembly contact a single surface contact and a uh, local contact will be a surface to surface contact where you have a penetrator or let's say a load a cell <coughs> who uh, that cell is going to apply a load on head restraint or a back form uh, or a, a misuse load on glow box misuse load on an armrest side load on a glow box uh, when it is open all these things are possible using a uh, global and local contact combination here you have to remember an important thing the important thing is you should not have redundant contacts that means you should not have two automatic surface to surface contacts so that uh, or on the same part or your uh, part should not be in two automatic surface to surface contacts that part can be in a single surface contact that will not make a huge difference but just remember this redundancy contact redundancy should not be there it will give you errors or you defining two contacts uh, on the same pair so you define the node to surface as well as you define the surface to surface that you should not do okay next is going to be control cards and database cards so you will define a set of control cards set of database cards at control termination control time step database d3 plot database d3 dump database run rsf uh, all the ascii files uh, airbag statistics gl stat and rc force and node force and etc etc so this is what you are going to define in control cards and database cards okay for model analysis you really have to define three control cards control implicit auto control implicit general and control implicit eigen value you don't need all these database cards and nothing else okay that's why i have written it later then you can go for final pre processor model check either ansa or hm or primer or ls pre post i will prefer ls pre post as i said and then you can go for debug okay so you can simply go for a debug calculation check whether you have any uh, part related errors connectivity related errors uh, seat belt related errors or material modeling related errors uh, or the part definition related errors or formatting related errors there can be many types of errors you can finalize them and once your debug calculation is done that means at least 20 30 milliseconds you can actually post process that debug calculation check the energies are you getting any negative sliding energy are you getting total energy as a flat curve are you getting a total energy increasing if your load is increasing all these things are supposed to be checked and then you start your final calculation so i can simply write here as start 
final calculation okay so this is a tip now see guys you can do an amendment here this is something which is a kind of a thumb rule or an industry practice it's not something which is mandatory so you can do model analysis later that's all okay but uh, something which is after connectivity obvious way is to do a model analysis and check okay so that is what i have written have you understood everything guys